Урок номер четыре. Lesson number four. Добро пожаловать. Меня зовут Константин. Welcome. My name is Константин. Or just use my nickname, Костин. In this lesson, you will learn how to say I want to speak in Russian. In Russian, the sentence sounds like this. Я хочу говорить по-русски. Now, to you, probably, it sounds like one very long word. Я хочу говорить по-русски. Don't worry, we'll break it up into words and syllables. And by the end of the lesson, you'll be able to recognize and produce the sentence very easily. So, let's take a look. And if you're looking at this um, video lesson, you certainly see it in front of you. But if you're just listening, uh, just follow... Um, this lesson um, by listening and then hopefully you'll be able to find it online by going to www.parlibus.com Я хочу говорить по-русски. I want to speak in Russian. So, just like in English, you can break up words into syllables. And uh, first, let's begin uh, by repeating um, the sentence. Я ха чу га ва рить па рус ки. Very good. Очень хорошо. So the sentence is uh, broken up into three uh, parts. Я хочу Говорить по-русски. The first part, я хочу, consists of two words. Я, I, and хочу, I want. Говорить, as you already know, means to speak. And по-русски means uh, in Russian. Now, in English, it's in Russian, so these are two separate words. But in Russian, по-русски, in Russian, consists of one word, which is hyphenated, по-русски. Ruski. But, as you'll learn just in a few minutes, uh, the pronunciation is slightly different. So instead of saying po ruski, you say pa ruski. Repeat after me. Make sure that you know what it means. Ya хочу говорить pa ruski. Now, say the whole sentence. Я хочу говорить по-русски. In Russian, it looks like this. And you don't probably recognize these letters just yet, unless you've seen them before. But you can probably guess that because you say Я хочу and Я, we already talked about this uh, sound represented using Latin letters, and you can see that я хочу consists of two separate words. And in Russian, it also consists of two separate words. Я, as I, and хочу, want. So you can tell just by looking at the Russian uh, Cyrillic letters that the first letter means I. And it also represents the sound я. So я хочу, uh, the letter я, or the sound я, uh, looks like a backward uh, Latin letter R. Um, of course, we will not think of it as a backward R, but from now on it will represent a Russian letter Y, uh, and uh, that's what it is. That's letter Y. Хочу. Хочу. Repeat after me. Хочу. Now, this word is made up of four letters. And as we um, learned before in the previous lessons, in Russian, usually, most of the time, uh, each letter represents a sound. And we already know how to represent these Russian sounds using the Latin alphabet. So the key here is to match them. And the letter that looks like a uh, Latin X is the Russian H sound. 
and uh, this letter uh, is ha, but the uh, sound it represents is h. So um, we'll go back and we'll take a look at the um, chart, the alphabet uh, chart that you can find almost in any textbook or online. Uh, and it's not so much important to know how Russian uh, letters are called in Russian, although it is uh, useful to know, but it is more important to know what sounds these letters represent. So I will focus more on the sounds rather than what these letters are called in Russian, but certainly it's a good idea to know what, um, um, how to say uh, a, a, how to name a letter in Russian, so that if you do need to uh, spell something in Russian, then you can use these names, um, these letter names correctly. So, H, H, the letter H. The next letter is O, so the sound uh, and the letter name are the same, O. The third letter is CH, CH. Notice that the CH combination, CH, and the letter itself looks like a uh, uh, flipped or uh, kind of like an H upside down. So uh, you can think of it this way. So it's if you flip a, a Latin H upside down, it becomes a Russian letter, uh, CH. And finally, the fourth letter is U, U. Uh, so in the Latin representation of the sound is is the Latin letter U, but in Russian uh, it looks like that uh, Latin uh, letter uh, metamorphosed into a um, check mark with with a uh, with the elongated um, slanted uh, line that kind of turns a little bit left. So um, it just looks like a Y, and, um, but in Russian it's U. So хочу, uh, that's what it adds up to. You simply add up these uh, sounds, and except the letter O, uh, the sound which we'll talk about next, the, uh, the, le the sounds um, represent this the the actual pronunciation h o ch u so ho chu but the pronunciation is ha chu now why do you say ha chu and not ho chu um, in russian um, each letter usually represents uh, a sound uh, that the Russian letter represents, but not always. So there are just like in English language exceptions. And although um, in Russian language uh, the spelling rules and the pronunciation rules are not as uh, complex, you still have to remember that not every single Russian letter is uh, pronounced exactly as it is written. So perhaps the, the very um, uh, the most common and the very important rule to keep in mind is is this one. Uh, if the letter O is stressed, then it is always pronounced as O. So, for example, in the word, in the Russian word ton, tone, uh, the letter O is pronounced as O because it is stressed. It is a one-syllable word, ton. Just like in English, there are a lot of words with just one syllable, and um, obviously the stress falls on that o, and there's no other way to pronounce this um, word, uh, neither in Russian or in English, um, uh, because it is stressed, so ton. Um, telefon means telephone in Russian, and again, because the last syllable is stressed, um, it means that 
you have to say о телефон телефон нота нота because the first syllable is stressed we say нота нота uh, which means a musical note now when the other syllable is under stress when the um, o is not uh, part of that syllable which is stressed but it becomes simply just another syllable then the o is pronounced more like an a not like a open a but somewhere between o and a closer to the sound a for example when i say я хочу i don't say я хочу я хочу but i say я хочу so the last syllable is stressed chu and the first syllable ho becomes ha so not quite ha and not ho but somewhere in between so хочу я хочу and this is how you say I want in Russian. Here's another example. Uh, you might meet um, Russian people and if it's a um, female, um, uh, she, might have an, uh, she might introduce herself as Olga. Olga. Uh, in English we would probably say Olga. Now because in her name there are two syllables and the first syllable is stressed and the stress falls on the letter O. In Russian we pronounce it just like in English. Olga. Olga. So it's it's O. And um, and even though the L sound we talked about it before is softer, but again it sounds very similar. Olga, Olga. What's important here is that we recognize that it's O, Olga. Whereas if you meet, let's say, a young man uh, named Oleg, he will say Привет, hi, меня зовут Oleg. My name is Oleg. Now, Oleg, Oleg, the first syllable, A, sounds like A, like like the um, Russian le letter A, but it's not. It's spelled, and I'm, I'll, s I'll spell using the Latin alphabet, O-L-E-G, and it is spelled O-L-E-G, but the stress falls on Ye, a leg, leg, falls on the last syllable, leg. So, a leg, so O is not stressed in this uh, word, and because the stress does not fall on O, it is pronounced more like an A. So, Oleg. So, both Olga and Oleg are s begin with the letter O, but the pronunciation of O is different uh, because, um, because of the stress. Now, my name, as you, as you probably figured out, Konstantin, I don't say Konstantin, Konstantin. That's because the stress falls on Tin, Konstantin. But if you use my nickname, Kostya, then you pronounce it as Kostya. It's O, Ko, Kostya. That's because the first syllable in Kostya is uh, stressed and the vowel in that syllable is O, Kostya. So, so a very simple rule, but something to keep in mind, because you will come across lots and lots of Russian words um, with the uh, spelling uh, using the word O, um, but uh, the pronunciation of, of that word will depend on where the stress is. And unfortunately, in Russian language, the stress is unpredictable. Uh, it's very difficult for a non-Russian uh, speaker to just to to guess where the stress is so it is very important that as you learn these russian words you also pay close attention to um where to put the stress on the word and uh if you're using uh you know a piece of paper 
um, just use a pen or pencil to put a little uh, accent above or maybe underline the letter whatever makes sense to you if you um, using computer uh, again it's a little bit more difficult because it's harder to uh, mark things but maybe uh, you know if you working in word or uh, another word processor just um, use a different color or um, underline it or maybe use italics but uh, be um, aware and be cognizant of of the Russian stress because um, unfortunately it stresses people out uh, literally I know people who say that's 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 impossible to learn Russian stress and they get very n uh, nervous then they you know they when they study for a test it's 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 a big deal and usually what I say you know that's that's just the way it is don't worry and you can do it it's it's not impossible in fact um, there are certain ways to to talk about Russian stress that you can predict more or less but unfortunately it's not like in Polish language for example where the stress uh, is very predictable or in English for example you kind of know that usually uh, it falls on the first syllable um, especially if it's a two syllable word so um, again um, it's something that can be very easily overcome if you start paying attention to this from the very beginning and even if you do put a stress on the wrong syllable your teacher will correct you or you know if you speak to a Russian person uh, most likely that person will repeat that sentence or that word um, correctly and uh, just to make sure that you're on the same page that we you understand each other and again use that um, as a that uh, that correction from the Russian person is a way sort of to not to get offended but sort of to make sure that you know where to put the stress so that next time you can um, you can um, do that um, just just by knowing where to put the stress and then from then on you just you just speak um, you don't even think about it you just speak and you put the stress on the right um, on the right syllable понятно is it clear now я хочу is a very useful phrase I want and even though you don't know how to write other Russian or Cyrillic letters you can still say what you want to do so uh, obviously you know how to say I want to say something or I want to speak я хочу говорить now let's learn these uh, other useful phrases я хочу and repeat after me изучать изучать я хочу изучать я хочу изучать means I want to study so say in Russian I want to study very good очень хорошо я хочу изучать я хочу Понимать. Понимать. Окей, okay, repeat after me. Я хочу понимать. Я хочу понимать means I want to understand. So now you say in Russian, I want to understand. Очень хорошо. Я хочу понимать. Now, я хочу писать. Repeat after me. Писать. Now, say the whole sentence. Я хочу писать. Я хочу писать means I want to write. So, now you can say I want to write in Russian. Say I want to write in Russian. Очень хорошо. Very good. Я хочу писать. We'll stop here for now and make sure that if you are not uh, confident or maybe you need some more time to review, then you can review this video lesson anytime. Just make sure that you do it 
um, you know, not right away, but maybe take a break uh, and then come back and l listen to it uh, one more. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to um, contact me again by going to my website www.parlibus.com. I'll be more than happy to answer uh, any questions you have. And uh, keep practice practicing. Uh, I hope you enjoy these uh, video lessons. If you're listening to these uh, lessons, um, do uh, check out uh, these videos as well because that way you can actually uh, see things uh, as I talk about them. Thanks for watching. Uh, пока. Bye-bye.